Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat, coming up on Newsbreak. We find out why this house is controversial. Parts of Queensland back in lockdown. And how these goats are fighting fires. But before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe? My job depends on it. There's a famous house in San Francisco inspired by the Flintstones. Looks pretty cool, right? Well, the local government there says it's less yabba dabba do and more yabba dabba. Nah. The controversial house kickstarted a legal battle that's lasted years, and now it looks like it's finally over. Flintstones, meet the Flintstones, they're the modern Stone family. From the town of Hillsborough. Yes, this house is a long way from bedrock, especially because bedrock isn't a real place. You see, after Florence Fang here bought this house in 2017, she decided to make it her dream house, inspired by the Flintstones. You want yabba dabba do in giant letters on the front lawn? Real-sized dinosaurs? Everyone is going to love this! Well, some people living in Hillsborough didn't. In 2019, local officials filed a lawsuit to have the garden installations removed, saying she didn't get proper permission to put them there. Plus, they reckon the installations are a public nuisance and eyesore and don't fit with the town's rural woodsy vibe. It yabba dabba didn't stop there. Florence Fang then countersued the town, arguing she should be able to do what she wants with her own property and was being unfairly targeted. The controversy sparked international media coverage and thousands of people even signed a petition to preserve the house. Now the lawsuit has finally been settled and the house is staying as it is. Parts of Queensland are going into a three-day lockdown. The state had already introduced tighter restrictions, but after two new cases overnight, the Premier decided to put these areas in southeast Queensland into lockdown, as well as Townsville, Palm Island and Magnetic Island. Basketball, tennis, soccer and running. What do they all have in common? Sport. Here's Paul with sport. Wimbledon is finally here. After being bumped off the calendar in 2020 due to, you know, it's back for 2021, and fans were quick to thank those who helped get it there. Sarah Gilbert, the British scientist who helped create the AstraZeneca COVID vaccine, received a standing ovation on the tournament's opening night. But for Australian John Millman, it was a rough start. He was knocked out in the first round by Spanish veteran Roberto Bautista Argat in four sets. In basketball, the Australian Olympic team has just lost one of its star players. Ben Simmons has confirmed suspicions he won't be joining the Boomers in Tokyo and will instead work on developing his skills in the NBA offseason. But Boomers coach Brian Gorgian says he's still hoping to have Ben on the team in the future. Sydney McLaughlin has broken the women's 400 metre hurdles world record. She crossed the line in 51.9 seconds, becoming the first woman to run under the 52 second barrier. It's a new world record! The first woman ever under... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. You need some help. Oh, well, that's funny because this next segment's called... To the Rescue! A TikToker has had his career cut short when his main attraction was confiscated. A 70-kilogram, 18-month-old lion. An animal rescue group in Cambodia seized the pet lion after spotting its TikTok debut in April. But luckily for this cub, he's off to a wildlife rescue centre where he'll hopefully be looked after properly. You're probably wondering why these falcons have matching tattoos on their beaks. It's actually to protect them from poachers. You see, in parts of Asia and the Middle East, falcons like these are caught and sold for hunting, with wild ones going for tens of thousands of dollars. So, the hope is that these tattoos will help deter bird catchers. And finally, the hills are alive with the sound of bleating. About 200 goats have been busy grazing the fields of this city in California. They're munching their way through stacks of dead grass, which is the perfect fuel for wildfires. Oh, and the good work doesn't stop there. As they eat, they poop out fertilizer, which is um, really good for the soil. Well, that's all the news we've got for you today. Don't forget, you can always hit subscribe because we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.